Hi, I'm Merit and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Single Earth and we are building a nature-backed future. We founded the company because we wanted to protect nature and we want to save the world from irreversible climate change and biodiversity loss. And we started looking uh, deeper into what is causing nature destruction. And we realized that it's the business models. Because the only way for a landowner to earn money from the natural resources is by selling it as raw material. But if we want to incentivize the protection of nature rather than the destruction of it, we need to create alternative business models that incentivize nature protection. And today, we're doing this with almost 80 people in a team. We're backed by Equity Ventures and Icebreaker. And what's really cool about the team of Single Earth is that about a third of us is actually scientists. So we have uh, ecologists, climate scientists, data scientists who are building a digital twin of the world's nature. We use satellite data, big data analysis and machine learning to describe what nature does in the physical world. And we bring that to the digital world. We build uh, carbon and uh, biodiversity, carbon and other ecosystem services models that describe how nature works in real time. And based on that, we start minting tokens uh, for the work nature has done in real time. So for example, for every 100 kilograms of CO2 captured in a biodiverse forest, we emit one token to the landowner in real time. But it's not just the carbon credit, it's actually a nature-backed currency. So this is our way how to shift towards a nature-backed economy where we can, for the first time in history, cap the economy with how much nature can really sustain. Because the amount of tokens in circulation is always capped by how much nature can sustain. So the more nature we have, the richer we are, the more of it we destroy, the less wealthier we become. Thank you. All right, Medit, thank you very much for that. You and your colleagues are doing so much good work uh, for the climate. Let's go. Now, we're going to walk and talk this one out here. Now, I know your company, and you guys have grown from like 8 to 80 in the last 12 months. That's nuts. Tell us about it. So yeah, we, when we fundraised uh, last summer, uh, we actually got fuel to basically build the team. And I think one of the most exciting parts has been building the science team, because like, when you think of it, it's, not, it's quite a challenge. Like, we mm. didn't think it would be easy to start hiring scientists from universities and convince them to join a startup. So, so basically, yeah, that was a great challenge. But what we realized that it's basically people are so excited to join something like we are doing because they have been doing this theoretical work for years and now they actually have a practical implementation to what, uh, to what they have been like telling the world all the time. So I think the mission is something that has helped us to grow the team uh, very easily. That's tremendous. We hear so much about, oh, we need more programmers, always more programmers, but to need more scientists. Yes. Yes, I like it. I like it. Um, climate, you know, it's, it's a hot topic. Everybody wants to talk about it. Uh, you know, climate in tech, I'm gonna, you're going to hate me for this. I'm going to word it this way. Why is climate so hot right now? <laughs> Obviously, because climate is getting hotter and hotter. And we, I think we're running out of time. Like, we need to do something right now. And I think for, like, entrepreneurs, for startup uh, founders, it's an incredible opportunity, to be, to be honest. Because I think, like, startup founders are always looking for, you know, problems to solve. And this is a huge problem. It's like the biggest problem <laughs> that humanity is facing. And there are so many solutions we can bring with real innovation. So I think it's, uh, it's so hot because... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> because, I'm really sorry to have done that to you. <laughs> but because it's so exciting. Like, like although it's, it's terrible and the out, uh, outlook is really bad, but there's also still hope and there's so much opportunity for great innovation and bringing real impact to the world. I like it. You've got a great mission. Merit, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.